Your, uh, most of your painting is abstract, but includes some figurative yeah. elements too. Yeah, yeah. And that has shifted. Mm. Well, what, where, where were you at, um, you know, 10 years ago in terms of mm. that? So, um, the earliest, earliest work was actually, um, the, the earliest work that I did was in Romania. That was yeah. in 2004. Yeah. yeah. I really like Romania, I don't know why I keep talking about it, but it's a beautiful <laughs> place. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, I went there with a couple of people and th th I did my first work there. Yeah. So it's a long time ago. Um, and that was very abstract. So it, it was very much around um, just color and line. Yeah. And very, almost like, more, more, how do you say, Moligani? Am I saying this properly? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. that's it. So kind of that style, you know, and um, and the figures being very, or the face is just, you know, outlines of a nose or like a, an ear or something like that. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, and because I was in Le living in Leipzig at the time, um, I really, really wanted to learn how to paint properly. It was really important to me. Mm. So I um, enrolled and got into a foundation here and there at the... Um, Academy of Visual Arts in Leipzig and did life drawing and resisted it completely. <laughs> I resisted drawing from like I, I just always wanted to do something else and I think the, the teacher, I remember him saying, oh like just stick with it, stick with it. And I'm like, oh no, it looks shit. I don't want to do it. <laughs> you know. So your resistance was actually to do it. <laughs> it wasn't getting the results that you wanted? Exactly. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, what it yeah. was. And so and that's been one of the challenges, you know, ever since is really yeah. to kind of plow through and go like, you know, it just takes a little bit of time, you know, you won't get the line correctly, like, yeah, and then, yeah, and I just being very impatient with myself and being very perfectionist as well. Mm. But yeah, since then, um, I really, really honed in on working with the figure. So I got really realistic, very much kind of, um, well, realistic in the sense, very much Leipzig, I guess, you know, a lot of, you know, looking at the perspective that they used and like, you know, learning the grid system and like how to put, you know, figures into certain places and how to do that properly and so yeah. that I could say what I wanted and it was always like anything that I learned, that I have learned, I always wanted to learn so that I could say what I want in a painting. That yeah. was really was not about you know I want to paint a picture so that it looks good no I want to learn so I can say about you know I can talk about space I can talk about perspective you know I can put people in time lapses or whatever yeah. <clears throat> and um, yeah so that's what I did for, for a very very long time I think almost for probably I don't know until 2000 and 10, 11, 12, even after that, it was still very figurative, so a lot of work was still uh, What point did you go to QCA? Um, 13, okay. no, 14 I think, yeah. yeah. And yeah, and the works then was still very figurative. Um, yeah, and then, what shifted then? Something shifted in the, um, just in the approach um, for me to go into more abstract or open form. Mm. So there was a real big shift in, oh no, sorry, I have to go back. Um, so in the, pro in the practice or in the process for me, it was very much like, you know, art is so much about yourself and like your own psychology and you know, what's going on with you. And after a while I realized that, you know, if I just let loose of it and if I let if I drop that idea that it has to be perfect and just you know use the gestural lines, that it's actually okay. Like the figure will work, will still look okay, you know. And by that time, I had done so much life drawing, so much really structured things, that it also worked that way. It worked that way quite well. And then there was like a real breakthrough in just seeing that I was able to do the figure how I wanted to do it and I was able to um, draw animals the way I wanted to do it quite you know with an ease when I 
because I let go of this idea it has to look like, you know, Rembrandt or it has to look like, you know, whoever, somebody really great. Because <laughs> you just reminded me as well, um, when I met you in May this year, mm -hmm. you were actually doing a horse portrait. Yes, I was. So, <laughs> So you actually do have, you, you have kind of commissioned work that yeah, is yeah, different, yeah. obviously completely different from yeah. studio practice. <laughs> yes, yes. But that actually, actually draws on that figure. I did eight, actually. So, yeah. I did, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's actually the only one that I ever, that's yeah. actually the only uh, horse portrait that I ever done. But yeah. again, yeah. like it was, it was, you know, usually it's, it's uh, with commissions I'm always like a little bit um, funny. I think a lot of artists are, but yeah. um, like what really shifted with that one is that I said to it was for a friend of mine and I said to him you know I'll do this my way I do the horse Denise style and yeah. this is what you're gonna get so you can't say anything about it so he either said yes or no yeah, yeah. <laughs> he said no I want it your way and then yeah and then I did it and it was great like yeah. it was a great horse <laughs> <laughs> but it was really expressive and like just had all these kind of colors and just, it was like you know a horse that you know you get like in the real realism way. Yeah. yeah. So all these skills are definitely there. If, you know. Yeah. And if I want to use them, I mean sometimes you know there is um, animals that want to come through in the work, you know, or certain types of people, and I'm glad that I can do them the way they want to be done. 